One of the factors of this function is mx squared plus n, where m and n are positive constants. Which of the following is a possible value of m times n? So I'm thinking, if I times my a and my c value, and I get a number, there's going to be two factors to this number that add to 97. I can do factor by grouping, and I can see what my m and n values are. So I open up Desmos, and I already have my a times my c value here. And I'm thinking, well, if I take my a times my c value, and I divide it by some factor, it should result in the other factor that multiplies to get that, right? I also know that my two factors should add up to my b term, which is 97. That's what's super nice, is I can just use Desmos to get my, my two factors here. It's going to be 42 and 55. So I jump back to my paper here, and I write down 42 and 55. And then we just do a little factor by grouping down below. Let's get rid of this. And we have 30 x to the fourth. And I'll pair the 42 x squared with that, and then plus my 55 x squared with the 77. And then all I have to do is out of this, I can take 6x squared. Out of this, I can take 11. And then down below, finally, we have 6x squared, 5x squared plus, what is that, 7? And then plus 11 times, take 11 out of that, 5x squared plus 7. So it worked. And our final form down below is we pair these two together. 6x squared plus 11 times 5x squared plus 7. So my only possible multiplication is 6 times 11, because look, they want the m and the n. 6 times 11 would get me 66, not a possible answer. 5 times 7 gets me 35. It looks like it's going to be, let's see here, 